Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across a store port.sys blue screen error on your Windows computer. So basically this is a system file created by the Microsoft Storage Port Driver and it's related to the storage of the data on the storage hardware being used by the system. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you're unable to boot into Windows, you want to go ahead and go and access the recovery options through either the installation media or if you're able to do a hard power off three times in a row and select troubleshoot, you want to go ahead and open up the command prompt. I'm able to boot into Windows here, so I'm just going to go through the start menu and I'm going to open up the start menu, type in CMD. If you're able to boot into Windows, of course, you're going to do it that way and then right click on command prompt, select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now, if you are able to boot into Windows, I would suggest just copying this command from the description of my video. If you are unable to boot into Windows, you're just going to have to write this down, unfortunately. It's not very long, but still, I'm going to just paste it in here. So, again, power, CFG, and then there's a space, minus sign, restore, default, schemes, and then hit enter. Once that's done, you have a blinking cursor, you can just close out of here. And again, if you are able to boot into Windows, I would also suggest attempting to open up the Start menu. Type in Device Manager. Best match, I'm back with Device Manager here. So go ahead and left click on that. Expand the display adapters. And then right click whatever display adapter is listed here and select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. and then select close. You might also want to search for Windows Update as well. So you can also attempt a system restore if that is still not resolving your problem. But I did go through a few potential workarounds that should be able to fix your problem. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.